being a parent trap. Stepping back in with you guys. Um, last week, yesterday, posted a uh, Instagram, the Parent Trap LLC. If you don't follow, make sure you follow. Um, I posted community outings, and I gave you guys five tips on getting through one of the most uh, kind of embarrassing, um, arduous um, experiences for a lot of our parents um, with children on and off the spectrum, right? Because of course, when we go out into public in a social setting, um, people are staring, people are thinking this or thinking that. Uh, there's a lot of different things that are going on in parents' heads, especially when their kid is tantruming because they can't have, you know, the Avenger toy. Um, and so I'm giving you guys five tips today. Gonna kind of elaborate a little bit, keep it short and sweet like always, so you guys can uh, catch this quick hitter and then start implementing this, um, you know, as soon as possible. So let me fix this hair really quick. It's bugging. Okay, so um, the first step is, is to go often, right? So step number one, go often. Uh, you want to go at least like once a week. The more the merrier. If you guys can go every day, then, then do it every day. Uh, but I want you to pick a place and go there often. If it's uh, Kohl's, if it's Stater Brothers, if it's Starbucks, if it's, um, I don't know, Costco, uh, you know, w within reason, right? Because we want to we want to restore the sense of, of normalcy and, and uh, a typical running household or, or function, right? We don't want uh, to, to negate going to the grocery store because my son or daughter acts this way. We don't want to uh, not have family dinners at, you know, um, a Ruth Chris or, you know, um, a steakhouse or Applebee's, right? Um, because my son or daughter doesn't like the loud noises or the people. So um, we want to work on some kind of de desensitization when it does come to uh, these social settings because we want a sense of normalcy, right? We want our households to function in a way that, that is, is, is something that we would like as, as a household, right? And so the first one, go often, pick your place. You got your place in mind. Second step is to make it quick. Um, so, and I tell parents all the time, we're going to go in and go out. Uh, the first two or three visits, go in, go up and down the aisle and then leave, right? We don't want to stay there and, 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 and at the grocery store and pretend like we're shopping for, for Thanksgiving, right? We don't want to grab the turkey, the ham, the, the, the honey, the, the, the celery, the onions, the bell peppers, you know, the, you know, cilantro, all that stuff. Like we don't need to do all that if we're just starting off, right? So the first few sessions, first few uh, times you go to a place, you're just gonna go in and go out. Maybe grab one thing, go to the cashier and then check out, right? Um, and so by going uh, really quickly, we're going to start setting the standard for our child. Like, okay, cool, mom or dad's not gonna be here for a long. We're just gonna go in and go out and get the job done. And then we're going to go back home or go back to you know what we were doing prior to this. So go in and go out and make it quick. The next one is, is I found it very helpful is to alert, alert employees, right? So if you go the same day or once a week at the same exact time, you're gonna run into the same employees. And so for instance, I had an example, um, I used to work on this with a client and we went to Barnes and Nobles. And so every time we go to that Barnes and Nobles, I'm sorry, the first time we went to that Barnes and Nobles, I told the uh, employee, I was like, hey, you know, me and my buddy here, we're gonna work on some, you know, uh, math skills. We're gonna work on uh, buying and purchasing items and money management. Um, so if you hear some, you know, loud noises or things like everything's under control, we got it. Um, I'm, you know, I'm gonna look for you when we go to the register so you can help us out, is that okay? And the guy was like, yeah. Um, and so right then I made a friend. So every Wednesday that I came back, um, I saw that same person, Greg. We can say his name was Greg. I saw Greg every Wednesday for about two months straight. He knew the routine. He knew the situation. He knew what we were going through. So when, when things did happen or when things did occur, he knew that, you know, Mr. Mike had it under control. He worked with us no matter if it took one minute or 10 minutes for the kid to, you know, pick an item pay for it at the cash register, greet him, uh, use, you know, his expressive language, look at the receipt, make sure he got the, the, the change back. You know, we went through all of those steps um, and Greg was very helpful in that situation because I alerted him, you know, that first day and that second time on like, okay, cool, we're gonna be doing this frequently, uh, so get used to me. Um, the next one is I want you guys as parents to prepare for the worst. Um, it could happen, it could not. Right. I'd rather you guys be prepared than, you know, you guys be unprepared. Right. So um, if we know our kiddo likes music or M&Ms or Gatorades or, you know, likes wearing the headphones, we're going to bring all that and maybe even backups during our trip 
to the grocery store or to the market or to the restaurant just in case things go wrong, right? If it gets too loud or, or if we need to uh, kind of pacify anything in that situation that, that's currently going, we want to give them a quick hitter. Okay, hey, here's your tablet. Here's mom's phone. Plug in your headphones. I know it's too loud right now. Or here are your sunglasses. I know it's really bright in here in this Costco. So here are these things, right? So we want to have all these things just in our, our tool belt, right? Uh, just in case things do go wrong or, you know, like I said, we want to prepare for the worst, but we want to expect the best out of our out of our children in those situations. And then the last one is, is uh, get in and get out and we're going to reinforce an exit, right? And so, hey, hey man, hey Josh, you did a really good job today. You know, we went in and out and, you know, you didn't give mom any issues. And so uh, here, here, we're going to go to McDonald's and get you an ice cream really quick. Or, hey, you know, hey, 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 uh, Susan, uh, you know, Dad was really impressed by, you know, the way that you didn't knock things off the shelves today. Hey, let's go to Carl's Jr. and get you some nuggets or something like that, right? So we want to reinforce appropriate behavior. So once we start reinforcing the appropriate behavior and what's expected, our child is going to understand like, okay, cool. Um, I get reinforced when I don't do this negative behavior or I get reinforced when I do this negative behavior that the parents are telling me and that the parents are highlighting. Um, and so with those five today, like I said, I want you to go off and pick a place at least once a week, right? At least once a week, the more the merrier so we can get our reps in, right? Because, you know, the more we practice, they say practice makes perfect, right? So if you want to roll with that kind of uh, outline, you can do that. So go often, uh, make it quick. You want to go in and out and then you can start stretching the time, you know, the more frequently that you visit. So your first visit, maybe five minutes, the next one, seven minutes, the next one, 10 minutes, the next one, 30 minutes, you can expand and increase, you know, as time goes on. Uh, the next one, alert the employees. Uh, you don't want to be uh, dealing with the behavior and having, you know, them call a code blue and have half a Sears, you know, running down the aisle, making sure, you know, it's not a fight, right? Uh, so make sure you're alerting the employees on that. The next one, uh, prepare for the worst, you know, like I said, you want to have, already you have everything than nothing. Uh, so prepare for what could happen, not, you know, what you want to happen. And then the last one, reinforce and exit. Get in and get out. Let your kids know that they're doing a great job, that this is their expectations that you have of them and that for them to continue that behavior throughout or the next time you visit and then reinforce them with something that's motivating for them or something that they really enjoy or that they really like. Uh, so with those five steps, uh, you're going to find success uh, throughout your journey. Like I said, whether you have a child with ASD or you're just a, a, a parent, right? Um, and so enjoy those. Lock in, tap in, as always. Buy my book, AHA, A Parent's Guide to Success in ABA, uh, theparenttrap.net. That's where you can find it. I'll see you guys next week.